Good morning, guys. Uh, we're going to solve some quartic equations using the Ferraris method. So suppose we have this general formula na x raised to 4 plus ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d is equals to 0. Then, ita transform natin siya by letting x is equals to y minus a over 4. So from this, ito ay magiging y raised to 4 plus py squared plus ui plus r is equals to 0. Ayan. Then, pqr is our constant. Siya yung constant natin. Then, transpose natin yung itong q and r para magsama itong may dalawang highest na uh, degree. So, bali, y raised to 4 plus the p y squared is equals to negative q y minus r. Ayan. Then, let's complete both sides the squares. So, completing the square ang gagawin natin. Pero, pag nag-add kasi tayo ng number lang dito, dito sa ating right side, hindi siya magiging perfect square. Try me. Hindi siya magiging perfect square. So, ang gagawin natin is, imbis na constant lang ang ilalagay natin dito, imbis na p squared lang, Kasi, di ba, ito yung constant natin. Magiging p over 2 raised to 2 siya, di ba? So, imbis na p squared lang ang ilalagay natin dito, ang gagawin natin is mag-a-add tayo ng, so, add, ayan, add, add tayo ng p y squared plus p squared both sides. So, bale, if nag-add tayo ng P, p y squared plus p squared both sides ito is magiging y raised to 4 plus 2 p y squared kasi dalawa siya plus the p squared then ito is equals to p y squared plus p squared minus q y minus r so, ayan, di ba? Nakapag-add na tayo ng square. Then, from this, so, kunin natin itong equation na to. So, kunin natin siya. Um, y raised to 4 plus 2PY squared plus P squared equals to PY squared plus P squared minus q y minus r then if we add 2 j 2 j y squared plus p plus j squared both sides ito both sides ito itong ating left side is we can simplify it magiging y squared y squared plus P plus J is equal J squared is equals to P Y squared plus P squared minus Q Y minus R plus 2 J Y squared plus P plus J squared. Then we can simplify this. Magiging P I P quantity P plus 2j y squared minus qy plus p squared minus r plus 2pj plus j squared. Ayan. j squared. Okay. And then, Mapapansin nyo na para siyang quadratic equation. This is R A, B, and C. Then by by using discriminants, nans, so the one ating formula ng discriminants is B squared minus 4AC. Move natin tong 
4 AC B squared is equal to positive 4 AC di ba? <coughs> so ating B dati dito is yung Q and negative Q times negative Q is magiging Q squared is equal to 4 times the A P plus 2 J times P squared minus R plus 2 P J plus J squared. Ayan. Okay, and then from this, we can get we can get 8 Z cube plus 20 P J plus quantity 16 P squared minus 8 R J plus 4 P cube 4 P cube minus 4 P R minus Q squared is equal to 0 let's take that okay so from this, we can solve the z and get the value of y by some uh, methods na ating ginagawa ngayon. So, bigay tayo isang example. Ganun yung method na ginagawa ni Ferrari. Parang ganun lang yung process. So, example, we have this x raised to 4 plus 4x plus 8 is equals to negative 10x squared. No, 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 no. Positive pala. Yan. Positive 10x squared. Then, ayun nga kanina. Pagsasamayin natin yung may highest degree. So, bali, ito magiging x raised to 4 minus 10x squared is equals to negative 4x minus 8. And then, by completing the square, ito is magiging x squared minus 10x squared is equals to uh, negative 10x squared minus 4x plus 92. Kasi nag-add tayo, nag tayo ng py squared plus p squared, di ba? So, ang p natin is yung 10. Then, to, y squared is yung 10x squared. So, Ayan, in lang natin siya, parang kinapi lang. Then, P squared is 10 raised to 10 is 100. 100 minus 8 is 92. So, parang ganun lang din siya. And then, from that, mag add tayo. Let's add 2J times X squared minus 10 plus J squared. Diba? To each side. Yun yung kanina na sinasabi ko rin. Diba? Nung nag-add tayo. Then, we can get x squared minus 10 plus j squared. Quantity squared is equals to 2j minus 10 x squared minus 4x plus 92 minus 20 J plus J squared. So, ayan. Ito ang ating equation 1. <coughs> then, by discriminants ulit, kukuhain natin. So, ang ating B squared dito is yung 4. So, B, 4 squared is 16. It's equals to 4 times A, which is 2 J minus 10, then the C is 92 minus 20J plus J squared. So, diba? Then from this, we can get the J cube. J cube minus 25J squared plus 192J is equals to 400 and 62. So, ayan. Then, from this equation, copy lang natin. Hindi na kasya sa board. Okay. 
j cube minus 25 j squared plus 192 j is equal to 462. Okay. To solve for j, para masolve natin yung j, let j is equal to u, u, u. u plus 25 over 3. Then, pagka nag-let tayo ng u dyan, lahat ng j, papalitan natin ng u, magiging u cube is equal to 49 over 3 u plus the 524 over 27. Then, if we solve for u, makukuha natin na u is equal to negative 4 over 3. Then, if sinasitute natin na litong u sa z, so z is equal to u, di ba? Plus 25 over 3. Then, the u natin is negative 4 over 3 plus the 25 over 3. Magiging siya is 21 over 3 or 7. So, ang zain daw natin is 7. So, the z is equals to 7. Then, for our equation 1 kanina, na x squared plus 10 plus z, minus z, minus 10 pala. Minus 10. Ay. x squared minus 10 plus z squared is equals to 2z minus 10 x squared minus 4x plus 92 minus 20z plus z squared. So, ito yung equation na buwan natin kanina. Isa-substitute natin lahat ng values ng z. So, ito is magiging siya ay magiging x squared minus 3 squared is equals to 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. Then from this, ito, pwede natin siyang isimplify na 2x minus 1 squared. Ayan. x squared minus 3 squared. Then, can get the square root and cell. So, bali, x squared minus 3 is equal to positive and negative 2x minus 1. Tama. And then, if we uh, ililipat natin itong 2x minus 1, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang value kasi positive and negative siya. So, una is, if positive 2x minus 1 siya, so, x squared minus positive 2x, diba? Minus 2x. Then, from this, negative, magiging positive siya sa kabila. So, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. It's equal to 0. And then, yung isa naman is x squared. So, from negative 2x, siya magiging positive 2x. Then, negative times negative is positive 1. Then, positive 1, pag nilipat natin sa kabila, is magiging negative 1. So, negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4 is equals to 0. So, meron na tayong dalawang quadratic equation. Then, if we solve if we solve these two quadratic equations uh, ito. Okay. So, first, ang x natin, ang x word natin is 1. Then, ang b natin is negative 2. Then, the c is negative 2 also. So, the first x is 1 plus, so, ang x sub 1 natin dito is 1 plus the square root of 3. Then, the x sub 2 is 1 minus square root of 3. Then, sa kabila naman. So, ang x ulit natin is 1, b natin is 2, then, c natin is negative 4. So, negative 1 plus the square root of 5 then kabila is negative 1 minus the square root of 5 so ganyan tayo kumuha ng ayan ba? Diba? so ganyan tayo kumuha ng ating quartic equation ganyan mag solve ng quartic equation using the Ferraris method so hope you learned something thank you